assalamu alaikum so now we are going to study about the male pelvis in the male pelvis as we can uh, see that this is the l5 vertebra this is the intervertebral disc between the l5 vertebra and the s sacrum the inferior most part is going to be the coccyx this is the spinal cord which is present in the vertebral canal and then the sacral canal after that we have this part this is the rectum this is the urinary bladder this is the uh, um, prostate as this is the model of the male pelvis all right this rectum is continuing into the anal canal which we can see that this is the uh, pectinate line and the, above it these are the anal valves this is the external anal sphincter the fascia between the rectum and the prostate the rectoprostatic or the rectovesical fascia it is also called the fascia of denon villiers this is the urogenital diaphragm this is the start of the penile tissue and this is the penis this is the testes and along with the testes these are the epididymis which we can see and these are the uh, blood vessels of the uh, testes and the start of the pimpiniform plexus all right if we look at the uh, organs on their pelvic surface what we can see is that this is the urinary bladder on the posterior aspect of the urinary bladder these are the seminal vesicles superior to the seminal vesicles are the vas deferens and these vas deferens cross the ureters which are entering into the lateral part of the bladder superiorly so the vas deferens are present superiorly and the ureters uh, these are the green structures in the pelvis these are present inferior to the vas deferens all right if we look at the uh, in interior aspect what we can uh, or the medial aspect what we can see is this is the urinary bladder this is the pre-prostatic part of the blood uh, part of the urethra this is the prostate so if there is a mark on any of these parts this is the prostate this is the prostatic part of the urethra these uh, this is the ejaculatory duct which is coming from the seminal vesicles this is the fascia between the rectum and the prostate rectoprostatic fascia or the fascia of denon villiers all right if we look at the muscles that we can visualize in the pelvis what we can see is that this fusiform muscle this is the prost uh, this is the sauce muscle this fusiform muscle is sauce muscle this uh, muscle that is present lateral to it this is the iliacus all right another muscle that we can see uh, another layer of the muscles that we can see is these this is the external oblique this is the internal oblique and this is the transversus abdominis this is the fascia transversalis if we look at the anterior most aspect this is the rectus abdominis in the pelvic wall what we can see is this is the obturator internus muscle this is the tendinous arch from which the uh, levator ani originates so all of this is the levator ani and posteriorly this is the piriformis muscle on which the sacral plexus lies this muscle is the piriformis muscle all right and these are the external anal sphincters and this although it is not anatomically correct this is the urogenital diaphragm Uro um, a little bit it is present beneath the levator and eye this is the urogenital diaphragm and the urogenital diaphragm gets the intermediate or the membranous part of the urethra and the urethra that is present in the penile tissue is the spongy or the penile urethra all right this is the symphysis pubis if we look at the um, if we look at the uh, i told you about the external anal sphincters if you look at the nerves that are present in this pelvic model this is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve which crosses on the uh, iliacus and goes towards the lateral wall the nerve that is present between the iliacus and the psoas this is the femoral nerve then another nerve that is uh, present uh, in its superior aspect as one nerve and then it is divided into two this is the genitofemoral nerve this genitofemoral nerve divides into a femoral branch and a genital branch this genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve goes towards the spermatic cord and, and uh, is a content of the spermatic cord another nerve that we can see is this obturator nerve that is going to open into the obturator canal with the obturator vessels all right if we look at the vessels 
what we can see is these vessels that are coming on the interior aspect of the sores along with the ureter. This green structure that is going downwards into the pelvic wall, this is the ureter. Along the ureter, as this is the model of the male pelvis, these are the testicular na uh, uh, vessels. These testicular vessels are also going to enter into the deep ring and form the content of the in uh, uh, and form the content of the spermatic cord. Another content which is coming from the testes towards the pelvic wall, this is the vas deferens. This vas deferens was also visible on the posterior aspect of the um, uh, urinary bladder. All right, now coming towards the arteries that are present in this model. This was the testicular artery. After that, this is the common iliac artery. This common iliac artery is dividing into an external branch and an internal branch. This external branch is giving off this deep circumflex iliac artery and the inferior epigastric artery and these are accompanied by their um, uh, same name veins. So this is the deep circumflex iliac artery and this is the deep circumflex iliac vein. Similarly, inferior epigastric artery and inferior epigastric vein. This, these two are the branches of the external iliac artery. If we look towards the pelvic wall, what we can see is this is the internal iliac artery and this internal iliac is dividing into an anterior division and a posterior division. This anterior division gives off the first branch, this branch. This is the umbilical artery. This umbilical artery in its distal part gets obliterated and this obliterated umbilical artery it forms a fold which is called the medial umbilical fold. This inferior epigastric artery gives off the uh, fold which is called the lateral umbilical fold on both sides right and left. All right, so this artery is the umbilical artery and its distal part it gets obliterated. This is the superior vesical artery which is a branch of the umbilical artery. After that this is the obturator artery, obturator artery, obturator vein and the obturator nerve. All of these go towards the obturator canal. This is the tendinous arch, this is the ureter and uh, the third artery that is the division of from the anterior division uh, they can originate separately or they can be branches of a single artery. So this is the inferior vesical artery and this is the middle rectal artery. Towards the uh, post, uh, posterior aspect of the piriformis, inferior to the piriformis, this is the internal pudental artery. A branch which is not visible is the inferior gluteal artery which is also the branch of the anterior division. All right, in the posterior division, this is the posterior division of the internal iliac. This branch that is going superiorly, this is the ileolumbar artery. This branch that is moving on the sacral plexus, this is the lateral sacral artery. And this part in branch is the superior, uh, uh, sorry, this branch is the superior gluteal artery. This branch that is coming from the aorta and is present in the midline towards the pelvis, this is the median sacral artery. This is the sacral plexus which is present on the piriformis muscle. If you look at this, these structures, this is the external anal sphincters, this is the iliopectineal line, these are the anal valves, this was the continuation of the rectovesical or the rectoprostatic fascia called the fascia of the non the urogenital diaphragm, the uh, membranous part of the urethra, the penile part of the urethra, the pubic symphysis. That's it.